A few months ago, I shared a video exploring the use of LLM vision models to interpret stock market technical indicator charts. The setup featured Meta's Llama 3.2 vision model, running locally via an OLlama server as a case study. The goal was to make this accessible to those with older hardware, like my five-year-old MacBook, without relying on paid services from OpenAI or Google. But as it turns out, the Llama 3.2 vision model kinda sucks for this task. So I decided to revisit the idea with the latest multimodal Google Gemini 2.0 models, focusing on automation and scale. In this tutorial, we'll prioritize performance over cost and build an updated AI-powered technical analysis dashboard that delivers buy, hold, sell decisions for your entire portfolio within seconds. Even with these upgrades, this remains a starter dashboard, leaving plenty of room for innovation. You might experiment with orchestrating multiple AI reasoning agents to cross-verify and refine technical analysis interpretations, or you might backtest specific strategies to evaluate how they would have yielded different outcomes. How and whether to deploy this tool depends on your own market theories and your confidence in both AI and technical analysis. We're going to create this tool using Streamlit, which is an interactive dashboard framework. If you've never used Streamlit before, I've posted a bunch of tutorials in the video description below to help you get started. We'll use a bunch of Python libraries as well, including Y Finance, to pull the latest stock ticker data, Pandas to process the data, and Plotly to create data visualizations. And as mentioned earlier, we'll be using the latest state-of-the-art Gemini 2.0 multimodal models that can process chart images. Let's walk through the workflow. We'll first retrieve stock price data using the Y Finance library, then process it with Pandas, and visualize it using Plotly to generate a candlestick chart with key technical indicators. Once the chart is ready, we'll save it as an image file using a built-in Python library. Next, this image is sent to the Google AI Studio API along with a prompt instructing the LLM to analyze it as if it were a stock trader specializing in technical analysis. We'll request both a narrative explanation of how it interprets patterns, signals, and trends, as well as a structured output of buy, sell, or hold recommendations. This structured data allows us to compile a table summarizing AI-generated insights for all the stocks we input. Finally, the AI's response is sent back to our local machine, where we can review its analysis and incorporate it into our decision-making process. You can find the link to the code in the video description below. I've also included a link to a more advanced version that can display not just daily candlesticks, but also weekly and minute level candlesticks too, enhancing its use for both long-term investing and day trading. This upgraded version also features customizable technical indicators, allowing you to adjust various parameters to suit your needs. While it's still a starter script, it offers greater functionality and is available for a download fee. Also, before we begin, I want to stress that this video is not financial or investment advice. It's an educational tutorial on using LLM vision models in Python using financial data. LLMs are still experimental and can have high error rates, even with an advanced model like Gemini 2.0. So you need to apply critical thinking and subject matter expertise when reviewing the results. Start by going to aistudio.google.com and click sign in. And this will prompt you to log in using a Google account. You'll next reach this page that says build with Gemini, and you'll want to click the get API key and then create API key on the next page. At this point, you can copy and save your API key someplace safe. You can get started for free with the Gemini API free plan, but there are limits on how many API calls you can send at a time. Alternatively, you can connect a Google Cloud billing account to Google AI Studio. The price per token is extremely cheap, so you're going to be paying at most a fraction of a penny for a bunch of runs of the dashboard. With that said, I'd still suggest placing a $5 to $10 budget on your Google billing account so that you are notified with alerts as you reach your budget. Next, open up your command prompt or terminal and create a new virtual or conda environment with Python version 3.9. Activate the new environment and install the following libraries. Streamlit, Google Generative AI, Y Finance, Pandas, Plotly, and Kaleido. You'll need to install the exact versions of these libraries as seen on the screen in order to ensure that the dashboard will work. With the prerequisites out of the way, let's walk through the code. We first import the relevant packages and then also bring in utilities like temp file, OS, 
JSON, and date time, temp file will be used later on to store the technical indicators plot, and the rest of the utilities do stuff like managing file operations, as well as doing JSON parsing and date calculations. We next set our Google AI Studio API key through the Generative AI Libraries configure function. I've hard-coded the API key here, but you could also set it with a streamlit secrets file or as an environment variable. We're going to use the Gemini 2.0 flash model and set it as the generative model. We'll now configure our streamlit page with a wide layout and set the title of the dashboard. The sidebar will be our control panel. Users will be prompted to enter multiple stock tickers separated by commas. The input is cleaned up by stripping extra white space and converting tickers to uppercase to ensure consistency. Additionally, the sidebar provides date inputs where the default range is set from one year ago to today. We then create a section for technical indicators, which will let users select from options like simple moving average, exponential moving average, and Bollinger bands. We will set the calculations for the technical indicators later in the code. We now create a button in the sidebar that when clicked, will loop through each stock ticker and use the Y Finance library to download historical stock data. Each ticker's data is stored in Streamlit session state, ensuring the data persists as the user interacts with the app. If any ticker does not return data, a warning will be displayed to notify the user. At this point, the workflow kicks into gear. With stock data available in the session state, the application moves into its analysis phase by defining a few key functions. The primary function, analyze ticker, takes in a stock's ticker symbol and its corresponding data and begins by constructing an interactive candlestick chart using Plotly. With an analyze ticker, an inner helper function, add indicator, is defined to handle the technical analysis components. This helper applies the appropriate calculation to the stock data and overlays the result on the chart. For example, if the user has chosen the 20-day simple moving average, the function computes the rolling mean of the closing prices over a 20-day window and adds that as a new line on the chart. This is the part of the code where you can add and customize the parameters of specific technical indicators that you want included in your dashboard. Once all chosen indicators have been added, the chart layout is refined by disabling the default range slider, resulting in a cleaner visual presentation. The next step is to prepare the chart for technical analysis by our AI model. The code temporarily saves the Plotly chart as a PNG file using Python's temp file module, writes the image to your computer, and then reads its binary content into memory. Immediately after reading the file, it is removed from your computer to ensure no unnecessary files remain. These image bytes, along with their MIME type, are then packaged into a dictionary, forming what we refer to as an image part. This image part, combined with a detailed text prompt, sets the stage for the Gemini 2.0 model to perform a technical analysis. The text prompt instructs the AI to act as a seasoned stock trader specializing in technical analysis at a top financial institution. It asks the AI to scrutinize the candlestick chart along with the displayed technical indicators, describe observed patterns, signals, and trends, and ultimately provide a recommendation. The output is expected as a JSON object containing two keys, recommendation and justification. Both the text prompt and the image part are bundled together into a single contents list, with each entry assigned a user role. This structured content is then sent to the Google AI Studio API via the generate content function. Once the API returns its response, the code attempts to parse a JSON object from the response text by identifying the first opening brace and the last closing brace. If a valid JSON segment is found, it is parsed into a structured result. If not, or if any errors occur during parsing, the code catches these exceptions and constructs an error message that includes the raw API response for debugging. Finally, the analyze ticker function returns both the fully built Plotly chart and the structured result from the AI analysis. This dual output enables the application to display the interactive chart alongside the simple buy-sell-hold recommendation and the detailed justification. After analyzing each ticker individually, the application organizes the results into several tabs. It starts by constructing a list of tab names, an overall summary tab, 
followed by one tab for each stock ticker available in the session state, and then uses Streamlit's tabs function to create these distinct sections. We then initialize an empty list named overall results to collect the recommendations for each ticker. The code then loops through every ticker, retrieves its associated data, and calls the analyze ticker function, which we previously discussed. Each ticker's recommendation and justification are appended to the overall results list. Within each ticker-specific tab, the dashboard displays a subheader indicating the stock being analyzed, followed by the interactive chart and the AI's detailed justification. Finally, in the overall summary tab, the application converts the overall results list into a pandas data frame and displays it as a table. This summary provides a quick, comprehensive overview of all recommendations. If no stock data is available, an info box prompts the user to fetch the data using the sidebar. Now that you've set everything up, it's time to see the dashboard in action. Open up a terminal and activate your Python environment. Then type streamlit run, followed by the path to your .py file. This command will launch the dashboard in your web browser. You can now add stock ticker symbols, select a date range, choose several technical indicators, and then click Fetch Data to initialize the technical analysis. You'll first see the overall summary of recommendations, but can then click onto a stock tab and read the detailed justification. As mentioned before, the link to the full code, as well as a souped up version, are available in the video description below. And if you found this video useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more videos on how to leverage the latest AI tools.